Introduction You might have noticed a number of YouTube channels with very similar names taking an extremely critical view of China. They're called things like China Insights, China Observer, Spotlight on China, China in Focus, China Uncensored, China Unscripted. In the title of this video, I've called these China Channels. You might also have noticed a number of other YouTube channels which are similarly critical of China and which also have very similar names. Eye Opener with Michael Lewis, Wide Angle with Brandon Fallon, Facts Matter with Roman Balmakov, Front Page with Scott Goulet. It's almost like all these channels are following some kind of formula and have a unified agenda. Although these channels all report recent events from China, typically with news channel style footage on location, their coverage is overwhelmingly negative. They invariably provide information about economic problems, diplomatic conflicts, social discontent and political scandals, sometimes in an exaggerated way. Despite the fact that they are reporting events which really happened, their very obvious preference for reporting on bad news rather than anything positive is legitimate grounds for questioning their motives. A further cause for scepticism is that the channels with named hosts, such as Eye Opener with Michael Lewis and Wide Angle with Brandon Fallon, invariably push right-wing talking points and engage heavily in the US culture wars on the side of the right. This video exposes not only the anti-China agenda of Falun Gong, the cult which either owns, sponsors or is affiliated with these channels, but also exposes the other channels used by Falun Gong to spread right-wing propaganda and promote its beliefs, covering these topics. 1. Epoch Media's News and Analysis Channels 2. Epoch Media's Affiliated Channels 3. Epoch Media's Propaganda Channels 4. Chinese Language Anti-China Channels Use the timestamps in the video description to navigate the content. Epoch Media's News and Analysis Channels Firstly, let's look at channels representing themselves as independent news commentary, simply reporting objectively on China. I'm going to look at four channels in this category, China Insights, China In Focus, China Observer, and Spotlight on China. Let's start with China Insights. This channel was started on February 12, 2021. As of the date of recording this video, it has 274,000 subscribers and 89.5 million views. Here's how it describes itself. Quote, The content on this channel is produced by a team, independent of any government or legacy media, including former China national television reporters, veteran editors of North American media, and colleagues in Asia. Some of us are long-time experts on China issues. We are committed to showing our audience the real stories of Red China and its extensive and far-reaching impact on other countries. We would also review what ancient China has offered the world. End quote. There are a number of unusual aspects about this description. It does seem to be attempting to establish its credibility by citing the supposed expertise of its unidentified staff. That lack of identification is a bit of an issue to me. Another piece of questionable wording is this phrase, quote, we are committed to showing our audience the real stories of Red China, end quote. The idea that they're somehow correcting the record or showing real stories which haven't been shown is very often, though not always, the language of a source which is attempting to claim some kind of special insider information or secret knowledge. The phrase Red China, of course, indicates that this channel has a very Western and most likely anti-communist stance. Finally, the sentence, quote, we would also review what ancient China has offered the world, end quote, although it may seem innocuous, is a little out of place in what is supposed to be a news channel. However, if you know anything about the Falun Gong movement and its regular appeal to ancient Chinese history and culture, as well as its explicit teachings, which are based on highly conservative historic culture, you might realise that this is also a bit of a red flag. 
This channel does not identify the fact that it is actually owned by Epoch Media Group, Falun Gong's media empire, nor does it disclose its pro-Falun Gong bias. The next channel is China in Focus. This was started on the 5th of February 2020, and as of the date of recording this video, it has 701,000 subscribers with nearly 193 million views. Here's how it describes itself. Quote, China in Focus is a YouTube channel created by NTD to provide viewers with fast, compelling, first-hand news from China. NTD is a New York-based global television network founded in 2001. We remain free from all external influence, whether from political, financial, or special interests, and cover stories that others don't. NTD is part of Epoch Media Group, end quote. This is the only one of these four channels explicitly identifying its ownership by Epoch Media Group, but it still insists it is, quote, free from all external influence, whether from political, financial, or special interests, end quote, which is very clearly false. The channel does not disclose its pro-Falun Gong bias, nor does it explain that Epoch Media Group is the media empire of Falun Gong. It's transparently obvious that this channel, literally owned by Falun Gong and its media empire, is pushing Falun Gong's propaganda. This is the complete opposite of being free from all external influence and definitely is a special interest. The next channel is China Observer. This channel was started on the 25th of May 2020. You might notice that all of these channels so far have very similar starting dates, either in 2020 or 2021. As of the date of recording this video, this channel has 187,000 subscribers and just over 43 million views. Here's how it describes itself. Quote, this channel brings the audience first-hand news from China at exclusive analysis, end quote. Quite a short description, especially compared to the others. Of course, first-hand news from China suggests that it has its own reporters or that at least it is using people on the ground. Exclusive analysis suggests a kind of special knowledge or superior ability to interpret the facts. Again, a claim made or at least implied by the other channels. Additionally, that phrasing, first-hand news from China and exclusive analysis, does give the false impression that this is an objective independent news channel. However, this channel does not identify the fact that it is owned by Epoch Media Group, nor does it disclose its pro-Falun Gong bias. The next channel is Spotlight on China. This is quite a recently established channel, having been created on the 16th of February 2022. As of the date of recording this video, it has 38.4 thousand subscribers and just over 23 million views. Here's how it describes itself. Quote, the channel Spotlight on China provides viewers factual news and insights about China. End quote. Again, we can see the description is very similar to the other two channels, although again, as with China Observer, this is a very short description. Again, that phrasing, factual news and insights about China, gives the false impression that this is an objective independent news channel. This channel does not identify the fact that it is owned by Epoch Media Group, nor does it disclose its pro-Falun Gong bias. Next, there are three channels we'll look at which represent themselves as independent channels owned by individuals. American thought leaders, Zooming in with Simone Gao, and Lay's Real Talk. First, let's look at American thought leaders. This channel was established on the 17th of January 2019. As of the date of recording this video, it has 347,000 subscribers and just over 32 million views. Here's how it describes itself. Quote, At a time when our nation is becoming increasingly polarized, media often ignore viewpoints and stories that are worthy of attention. American thought leaders, hosted by the Epoch Times senior editor Jan Jakelek and his reporting team, features in-depth discussions with some of America's most influential thought leaders on pertinent issues facing our nation today. End quote. This is the only one of these three supposedly independent personal channels which explicitly identifies its connection with Epoch Media Group, 
but it only acknowledges that the presenter is a senior editor at Epoch Media Group. However, its self-description, quote, features in-depth discussions with some of America's most influential thought leaders on pertinent issues facing our nation today, end quote, gives the misleading impression that it is an independent channel providing objective commentary from American social, economic, and political analysts, when in reality it's selectively promoting the views of conservative, right-wing, and libertarian commentators. Common topics on this channel include anti-vaccination and anti-mask propaganda, right-wing conservatism, such as supposed traditional family values, and accusations of various forms of political corruption in the US government, aimed mainly at the Democrats. The channel does not disclose its pro-Falun Gong bias, although this could definitely be inferred by the reference to the senior editor at Epoch Media Group. The next of these channels we'll look at is Zooming In with Simone Gao. This channel was started on the 6th of June 2018. As of the time of recording this video, it has 226,000 subscribers and just over 18 million views. Here's how it describes itself. Quote, Zooming In is a weekly in-depth investigative report program hosted by the award-winning journalist Simone Gao. Zooming In focuses on US-China relations, American tradition and values, and critical questions that America faces today. It is known for never shunning tough, controversial issues or complex stories. Exclusive interviews and reports from China, insight from top experts on US and China, good storytelling and engaging visual presentations make zooming in one of a kind, end quote. You might have already been tipped off by the wording that this is a propagandistic channel. This description highlights issues of particular concern to American conservatives. Use of the phrase American tradition and values is a bit of a giveaway here. Looking at the channel content, we find the videos raise typical Falun Gong talking points, such as accusations of the Chinese government harvesting internal organs from Falun Gong members and the Uyghurs, Chinese influence in US politics, which is particularly ironic given Falun Gong's attempts to influence US politics and the incredible amount of money they have spent doing so, and Chinese government censorship and restrictions of liberty. The US Democrats are also criticised, with President Joe Biden being particularly singled out for criticism recently. There's also a lot of praise for the American Dream and Elon Musk, and claims of alleged hijacking of protests and social movements in the US by leftists, particularly targeting Antifa. It's very largely conservative right-wing propaganda. The channel does not disclose its pro-Falun Gong bias. The last of these four channels we're going to look at is Lay's Real Talk. This channel was started on the 28th of June 2020. As of the date of recording this video, it has 44.4 thousand subscribers and 4.5 million views. Here's how it describes itself. Quote, With my Chinese background and experience in finance, censorship, media, and totalitarian government, I offer a fresh perspective in analysing and interpreting world, political and economic events with a focus on China and Chinese economy. I believe that wisdom is knowing the value of kindness and courage grows from being selfless. Those values have guided me through each step in making these videos. End quote. Again, there's some pretty telltale wording there. There's an appeal to special insight, knowledge or experience with China. There's reference to a totalitarian government, which very obviously has China in mind. And there's this interestingly moralistic phrasing about wisdom being knowing the value of kindness and courage growing from being selfless. This is the kind of moralistic talk typically found in Falun Gong teaching. The channel is very similar to Simone Gao's. There are many videos on corruption and dictatorship in China, social and economic problems in China, many unsubstantiated rumours about Chinese leader Xi Jinping, Many sensationalist titles such as China's Grand Plans to Take Over America and When Chinese Took Over a British Institution and British Intelligence Agency Warns UK Chinese Spies and Boris Johnson Speaking Chinese and laughably inaccurate references to China's socialist economy. There are also a few videos with titles that pretty much speak for themselves such as, quote, The Source of Wisdom and What I Learned as a Kid, end quote, and Quote, genome editing, human-monkey hybrid, and male mice having babies, end quote. And, quote, 
why fentanyl overdose and cannabis legalization can be a national security threat, end quote. These lean more obviously in the direction of Falun Gong's conservative right-wing and non-scientific religious ideas, and very obviously appeal to America's conservative right-wing audience. The channel does not disclose its pro-Falun Gong bias. Epoch Media's Affiliated Channels Now we're going to look at a number of channels which are more explicitly affiliated with Falun Gong and its Epoch Media Group empire, but which attempt to place themselves at some arm's reach or distance from Falun Gong and its media group. The first we'll examine is China Uncensored. This channel was started on the 21st of September 2012. As of the date of recording this video, it has 1.8 million subscribers, making it one of the most influential in this list. And it also has just over 436 million views. Here's how it describes itself. Quote, China Uncensored will bring you the uncensored truth about the Chinese Communist Party's secret plan to take over the world. Just kidding. Sort of. End quote. The wording of this description highlights one of the channel's most prominent features, which is its tendency to make extreme claims about China covered with a thin veneer of humour, allowing the channel to deflect criticism by claiming that it's just joking or being intentionally hyperbolic for comedic effect. In reality, of course, it's dog whistling to a very conservative right-wing audience, and this veneer of humour is simply an attempt at plausible deniability. In an interview with the website Daily Dot, China Uncensored's owner, Chris Chappell, incidentally reveals the fact that he is by no means unbiased and that he is not even attempting to present an objective view of China. He explains, quote, I was a China news reporter, and eventually I grew tired of the unbiased attitude you had to have as an unbiased reporter. I thought, why not follow in the footsteps of The Daily Show? or the Colbert Report. So much of the news that comes out of China is inherently funny, so I thought I'd build something where I could say whatever I want to say." End quote. Significantly, Chappell also revealed how his channel has benefited from ex-President Donald Trump's political activity and statements. When asked, quote, After the 2016 American election, did you notice a boom on your channel? End quote. Chappell replied, quote, I have to say, Donald Trump has certainly made China uncensored great again, end quote. The fact that Trump's rhetoric helped boost Chappelle's viewership figures is hardly surprising given the alignment of his political views with those of Trump and Trump's supporters. Videos on this channel feature sensationalist titles such as China is stealing your data and China battles America for control of Pacific Islands and China is flooding the world with police and Twitter hired a Chinese spy, and why are businesses fleeing China, and starving to death under China's COVID lockdown in Xinjiang? It's a lot like Simone Gao's channel. The channel does not disclose its pro-Falun Gong bias. However, there's an important hint about Chappelle's personal relationship with Falun Gong in his interview with The Daily Dot. He mentions becoming extremely ill when he was 19, and although he says, quote, doctors said I might have some rare heart virus, end quote, whatever that means. Instead, he says he listened to a friend of his, quote, who was practicing some Chinese Qigong exercises, end quote. According to Chappelle, quote, he showed me these exercises and I immediately got better the next day, end quote, supposedly baffling his doctors who were allegedly at a loss to explain his miraculous recovery. This reference in his interview to the incredible medical value of unspecified Qigong exercises is not only very obviously deliberate, but also very clearly associated with Falun Gong, the practitioners of which are well known for such extraordinary claims of healing. Additionally, indisputable evidence of Chappelle's connection with Falun Gong is the fact that his videos have been collected by Epoch Media Group and publicised on their New Tang Dynasty TV website, a practice which continued until a couple of years ago. The last video posted there is dated the 5th of August 2020. The next channel we're going to look at is Eye Opener with Michael Lewis. This channel was started on the 11th of November 2020. As of the date of recording this video, it has 211,000 subscribers and just over 10 million views. Here's how it describes itself. Quote, I created this channel with a few friends because we felt like the truth was dying. 
we noticed that there has been a fundamental shift of how information was being packaged and served to people. But what was most scary was that there was an agenda behind it. Yet a large portion of people felt unaware of this. As our freedoms, sovereignty and humanity were being taken away from us, I felt compelled to do something about it. End quote. You should notice there some pretty obvious dog whistles to a conservative right-wing audience, particularly those references to freedom, sovereignty and humanity being taken away and some kind of agenda being behind all this. In case that wasn't clear, some of Michael Lewis's own statements on the public record definitely indicate where his sympathies lie. On the 9th of January 2021, a BuzzFeed article described how, quote, hours after a mob of Trump supporters violently occupied the Capitol Wednesday, the host of one channel, Eye Opener with Michael Lewis, went live on YouTube to lie about the coup attempt, election fraud, and Antifa, end quote. The BuzzFeed article quoted Lewis extensively, and his words are pretty telling. Lewis said, quote, there is mounting evidence to show that an old communist tactic was used here, end quote. Adding, quote, these people instigated the crowd and stirred up the people into a fervor. It looks to be Antifa from early reports, end quote. So mere hours after Trump's supporters attempted to occupy the Capitol, Lewis was here making claims that this was a left-wing false flag attempt. And of course, placing the blame on unidentified left-wing instigators, in particular Antifa. The BuzzFeed article comments, quote, None of this is true, but it is standard fare for Lewis's channel. Since its creation on November the 10th, 2020, it's been a clearinghouse for election disinformation propagated by Trump, his attorneys, and conspiracy theorists, end quote. It doesn't take much more than a brief look at the titles of the videos of this channel, to see where Lewis's sympathies lie. Titles include, DeSantis' opinions cut through the political distraction. Poll shows Trump easily beats Biden 2024. And FB caught red-handed tampering with the truth. Courts have blocked Biden's socialist agenda seven times. And shocking climate policies could lead to massive power outages. Dems want to empty prisons in 10 years. And racism in America destroyed by Lieutenant Governor Sears. VA election proves Americans will refuse socialism. And world leaders are viciously scapegoating the unvaxxed. WH tweet may doom Biden's vaccine mandate. It's all pretty standard, unsubstantiated conspiracy mongering and right-wing propaganda. To provide you with an example of its content, I'll just quote from that last video I cited. Quote, a common trait among left-leaning leaders is a penchant for exaggerating or distorting facts to achieve their political ends. President Joe Biden and Prime Minister Justin Trudeau are in this category. They slander Americans and Canadians who oppose mandatory vaccine mandates, using them as scapegoats. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau even labelled unvaccinated Canadians as extremists, racists and misogynists who deny science during a talk show in Quebec last September. End quote. The channel does not disclose its pro Falun Gong bias. The next channel we will look at is Facts Matter with Roman Balmakov. This channel was started on the 19th of November 2020. As of the date of recording this video, it has 853,000 subscribers and just over 85 million views. Here's how it describes itself. Quote, Facts Matter unpacking complex issues in a way that's easy to understand. We are the new mainstream, end quote. The titles of its video give you a pretty good indication of to what extent it's really unpacking complex issues and presenting facts. Here's a sample. Pfizer exec makes bombshell admission about COVID vaccine. Student loan bailout will cost half a trillion dollars. Research shows more guns equals less crime. Co-founder of Black Guns Matter. Forced to share locker room with biological male, Riley Gaines is fighting back. CDC director finally admits to giving Epoch Times false safety data information. Again, it's the same kind of conspiracy mongering and right-wing conservative propaganda we've seen from the other channels. The channel does not disclose its pro Falun Gong bias. The next channel we'll look at is Front Page with Scott Goulet. This channel was started on the 11th of November 2020. 
As of the date of recording this video, it has 231,000 subscribers and nearly five and a half million views. Here's how it describes itself. Quote, the world is set in an era of confusion. Facts keep being intentionally twisted every day by many media outlets. Where is the truth? Where is the way out? At Front Page, we do our best to dig out the truth and share them timely with you. We trust that rational interpretation can give us confidence, truth can set us free, and faith can offer us hope, and together we can walk through the critical historical time towards a better tomorrow." End quote. Leaving aside the slightly awkward and stilted wording here, it's pretty clear that once again we have the favourite talking points of the conservative American right. Video titles are focused strongly on the American culture wars, largely attacking Democrats, praising demagogues like Elon Musk, propagandizing in favor of Donald Trump, criticizing Joe Biden, promoting conspiracy theories such as mass election fraud on the part of the Democrats, and boosting anti-LGBT propaganda. The channel does not disclose its pro Falun Gong bias, and you would be hard pressed to find any information informing you that Scott Goulet was a former reporter with the Epoch Times, a newspaper owned by Falun Gong. The next channel we'll look at is China Unscripted. This channel was started on the 19th of April 2018. As of the date of recording this video, it has 172,000 subscribers and just over 12 million views. Here's how it describes itself. Quote, From the team that brought you the satirical TV news show China Uncensored comes a, well, less scripted look at China. Chris Chappell and his team are off the teleprompter and on the mic to interview China experts or discuss the issues of the day. And frankly, anything else they feel like discussing. Now available on iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, and ChinaUnscripted.com, China Unscripted is owned operated and produced by American Uncovered LLC, a small independent company based in New York City." End quote. The fact that this channel is owned and run by Chris Chappell, whose other channel, China Uncensored, we have already looked at, tells you pretty much what we're going to find here. Additionally, the claim that the channel is, quote, owned, operated, and produced by America Uncovered LLC, a small independent company based in New York City, end quote, obviously conceals the fact that this is yet another channel affiliated with Epoch Media and promoting Falun Gong propaganda. A look at the video titles shows us the same kind of content with which we are now very familiar. Is China colonizing the world? Is the UN just a tool for China? China hunts its dissidents all over the world. India stands in China's way of world domination. How China could blackmail you with your phone? If you downloaded a Chinese app, China has hacked you. How China can track you forever. One video on the channel connects it very obviously not only with Epoch Media Group, but with Falun Gong. This video with the title, The Chinese Communist Party's Most Feared Enemy Meditates, makes explicit reference to Falun Gong. Here's the video description. Quote, The Chinese Communist Party is officially atheist, but that's not the reason it fears Falun Gong, aka Falun Dafa, so much. The reason it fears a peaceful meditation practice is that Falun Gong has been shining a light on the CCP's decades-long persecution campaign against it, the CCP's atrocities against its people, like live organ harvesting from prisoners of conscience, and the CCP's disinformation warfare tactics, and why China's persecution campaign affects the whole of Chinese society. In this episode of China Unscripted, we discuss where Falun Gong gets its money, why Falun Gong, end quote. And here there's actually a break in the video description. The sentence actually ends and a new sentence starts later. I think somebody forgot to complete the description. The final sentence reads, quote, Joining us in this episode of, which should really be is, Levy Broder, the executive director of the Falun Dafa Information Center, end quote. So this video is an explicit defense of Falun Gong and interviews one of the executive directors of Falun Dafa Information Center, basically a propaganda arm of Falun Gong's empire. It's totally clear that this channel is not only affiliated with Falun Gong, but is used to promote its propaganda. Epoch Media's Propaganda Channels 
Falun Gong also has several channels which are explicitly identified with Epoch Media Group and which push the cult's propaganda in various ways to a range of audiences. The most significant of these is New Tang Dynasty Television, which broadcasts 24-7 and reaches over 100 million people through its various channels and services, including satellite TV. Another is the Epoch Times, a newspaper with print editions sold in eight languages and distributed online via websites in at least 30 countries. According to a CNBC article in 2019, the Epoch Times has accumulated billions of views of its videos and ads on Facebook and has also been repeatedly penalised by Facebook for inaccurate content, sock puppet accounts and various attempts to avoid Facebook's review processes. Falun Gong's Sound of Hope radio station is based in San Francisco and broadcasts in both English and Chinese. Although its audience size is unclear, its YouTube channel, Jiang Feng Shi Ke, has 973,000 subscribers as of the time of recording this video. Shen Yun Yi Shu Tuan, more familiarly known in English as Shen Yun, is Falun Gong's dance troupe, which performs internationally. Although it has been admired widely for its high production value and the skill of its dancers, commentators have also noted the very obvious propaganda in its content. Shen Yun's performances depict a highly conservative and inaccurate narrative of Chinese history and culture, which is explicitly anti-communist and reactionary. China in Focus is another TV program belonging to Falun Gong, very likely with a viewership in the millions, given that it's produced by the New Tang Dynasty Network. Its YouTube channel has 703,000 subscribers as of the time of recording this video. Chinese language anti-China channels. In addition to the English language channels which we've reviewed, Falun Gong also propagandizes through a wide range of anti-China channels in the Chinese language. Most of these are on YouTube, although it also has a couple of websites. On screen now are the names of these channels in Chinese. Minghui, Zheng Jian, San Tui, Xin Sheng, Yuan Ming, Ren Ming Bao, Kan Zhong Wo, A Bo Luo, Xin Wen Wang, Shen Zhou Zheng Dao, Zhen Xiang Chuan Mei. Next, we have several websites also owned by Falun Gong to propagandize its message. Zhen Xiang Wang, under the web title www.realtruth.com.tw. Qi Gong Xiulian Wang, under the website address qigong.me. Jin Wen Wang, under the website title bandbook.org. Li Hongzhi Da Shi Jie Xiao, under the website li hongzhi master.org. Falun Gong is also associated with Freegate, a virtual private network app created by a Chinese hacker who lives in the US, but who is also a Falun Gong practitioner and who is funded by Falun Gong. A similar piece of software is Ogate, which one of Falun Gong's own websites says, quote, is software developed by Falun Gong practitioners for Chinese residents to overcome the internet blockade and access overseas information. End quote. Conclusion It seems these Falun Gong owned or affiliated or supported anti China YouTube channels are just going to keep emerging. One channel called China Revealed, a name suspiciously similar to the others reviewed here, which was started as recently as the 26th of January 2022, only has 15,500 subscribers as of the time of recording this video, but already has over 6 million views. Also similar to other channels reviewed here, it has a very simple and innocuous self-description in its About tab, stating only, quote, The channel China Revealed provides viewers insights about China, end quote. The channel content is pretty much the same as China Insights, China Observer, China In Focus, and Spotlight on China. Although I haven't found a direct link to Epoch Media Group at this point, the channel features videos which are directly supportive of Falun Gong and critical of Chinese government suppression of the cult. One such video entitled Falun Dafa Practitioner Found Not Guilty Amid Hong Kong CCP Crackdown 
has a description reading, quote, since the Chinese Communist Party infiltrated Hong Kong and imposed the national security law, practitioners of Falun Dafa, also called Falun Gong, have been repressed, censored, fined, and even arrested for telling the truth about the persecution they suffered in China, end quote. The fact that the video uses the term Falun Dafa, which is Falun Gong's preferred name since it differentiates the organization from Qi Gong and identifies it as a religious movement, is strong corroborating evidence that this is yet another channel owned by Epoch Media Group spreading Falun Gong propaganda. The next video in this series will investigate alternative YouTube channels as sources for information about China and critique two of the most popular Western-owned China channels, Serpenza and Lao Wai 86. Music